What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Let's Build series. We're back on our Shadowbound capital vessel. Um, and in the last episode we were playing around a little bit with the frame here, and I think... I think we're gonna stick with this one. I, I went back and with like a, a fresh pair of eyes kind of thing, came back to this one which had a wider back, uh, or neck kind of thing. Um, and I just don't like how much it shortens the nose and then straightens out. Like, it's too... I don't know, it's too straight to me. I, th I, th I think I liked it a little bit taller. But I do like this arch, so I'm a little torn. But when I come back and look at this, I don't think it looks too bad. I think I like that look better. Uh, plus, I've, I've had a couple of people mention that it looks like a Star Destroyer. I do, um, like, I, I definitely pulled inspiration, especially from the nose and stuff, from more of a Star Destroyer thing. The back half is going to be a little less Star Destroyer-esque. Um, I would refer back to part two. I was going to say part one, but part one I started a long time ago. So part two is the one where I actually threw up a 3D model sketch of what I had planned up. Uh, to do. So if you're a little more curious about um, the overall idea, that has some reference images type thing. But uh, suffice to say that we're actually going to do a bit of like a curve back here kind of thing. Like it'll have this kind of uh, talon kind of shape. Um, and then in the, the back part there will be a, um, a curving crescent area that is not really Star Destroyer-esque. But yeah, the front nose definitely is. I also realized I can be a bit of a dum-dum uh, with this. So, for example, right here, I needed to transition from uh, the horizontal or what I'm going to dub the X axis. Um, and convert it towards going more towards the y-axis, right? Um, and I did this, which was kind of silly, to be honest, because I needed to bring it back one and then connect, but all I have to do is put this block here, right? And then just bring this forward one. It's, really, it's amazing what um, a fresh pair of eyes, like when you come back after having sat on something for a while, what you can see and you go, huh, what was I thinking? Um, if I can ever get these to rotate correctly. There we go. And voila. It's still a little sharp, but there's no real way around that when you're dealing with the uh, two by one ramps. It's just kind of par for the course. Now, um, what we have to figure out is essentially how we're going to do the rest of this. So, I think that pattern will work. We're going to test it out. Ooh, I didn't realize that this is a different shape. So, we'll have a little... Actually, it should be a little bit easier to blend these together, and I will show you why in a moment. Because we can actually take advantage of, um, essentially, the shape of the 2x1 ramp. That if we place this here, when we get to the end of this section, we can just place that like that, and this side will meet up with this side. What we have to figure out is where that actually ends up meeting. And it's also important to note that we need to keep it in line with this section as well, which is why I have this little um, block here. So, I'm trying to figure out what the best way to go about doing this is going to be. I, I suppose what we'll have to do, let's test this out, and I'm definitely leaving mirror mode on, is if I bring this to here... I suppose what we need to do is just start do following the um, the taper of this. So to do that, 
Let's see, we're gonna have to put this here and that there. And then, or wait, do we wanna do that? Yes, and then we'll need to do these. We'll put these kinds of blocks, it should be three, I think, right? Yes, and then we'll basically do the same thing. I don't know why these insist on rotating when I don't tell them to, but whatever. And if we follow that line, then we should be able to connect these up like so. Perfect. All right. Now we'll worry about this part down here later. Right now I'm focused on the top section. Um, so essentially, that's pretty much how that's going to work. We're going to have to get rid of this, I guess, for this to work. I'll have to flip this over, bring that up like that, and we're gonna walk that shape down. Now for this part, I can just go ahead and fill this in, give ourselves a head start. Boom. Okay. Now, um, it's probably best to kind of do all of the parts. How many blocks up do I need to go? Nine. All right. So basically, let's just walk up nine blocks. And in fact, what we're gonna end up with is over here. We're gonna end up, hmm. All right now this is an interesting predicament because these don't, actually line up. Oh, and also this is going to taper down at some point. Okay, that's why I have this block here. So I'm guessing if I bring this up nine, it'll be right there. Okay. Now this is where things get complicated. Is right out here. Because... <laughs> this is going to suck. Um... We've got to bring the top layer into this factor as well. Now, like I said, this outer edge works okay, but we also have to bring... <laughs> I hate angles. We also have to bring this around as well. Which is why this is going to be a pain in the butt. Because we're going to run into a, a situation that looks something... Did it seriously just rotate when it touched a block? That's stupid. I had it set right and then it just reset itself. We're gonna run into a situation like this, which is a pain and I don't like it. Um, the only way, if we do like this, we're gonna have to blend this somehow which is not going to be fun because it goes in the wrong direction. So I'm actually thinking that we're probably going to have to just leave it flattened here, which I hate doing, uh, but there's really not a whole lot of options. Other than, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we do this, if we do something like this, we could do that shape and kind of curve it in or follow this shape. <sighs> I really don't like that the game doesn't have enough uh, blending blocks. That's a good that's a good term actually blending block. I like that. TM. Um, because there's not a lot of ways to get like they there's a couple of mods that do it and if the mods can do it it's kind of like why why don't we actually have them in the main game? Um, see, we could do something like this, but then it messes with this shape, so that's kind of out. Our other alternative is to put a flat block here, or maybe even, like, just leave a, a ramp type thing like that, and then go from here. I don't really like any of these, if I'm being honest. But again, without more of a emerging type thing, I don't really know how else to 
do it. Now over, if we bring it over one, we can kind of fix it, but this just doesn't really work well with oh, anything for the most part. Because obviously we could do something like this, but then that doesn't connect with this at all. Now, ooh, here's an idea. Here's, I'm, I'm, I'm having a thought. They do happen from time to time. Is could we... Huh, could we blend it, mayhaps? Something like that? No, that angle's not right. Hmm. This is why I like the angles. I, I like the more shallow angles of the 2x1 blocks, but I really, really, really don't like um, having to try and merge them to things and make them fit. It's really annoying. Um, let's see. If we were to... Let's say we just end it. What would that look like? If we just ended it, like, here... Can we get away with that? In fact, I think it's the only way we might actually be able to make this work, out alone, you know, kind of function at all. And then at this point, we could probably continue the shape of the previous row. See, that's the thing. Uh, I've learned from trying to do my own builds and stuff like this a lot that you end up kind of having to find the pattern. And once you find the pattern, then you can kind of just keep going with it. Um, for example, something like this. It's not pretty. I don't like it as much, but it, I think it's the only way that it'll work. Um, and so then when we're over here, we'll basically do the same thing. We have to bring it in. Well, actually at this point, we won't need to do the same thing now that I'm looking at it. Because once we're here, well, we kind of do anyway, I suppose. But we can do it a little bit cleaner by doing this. Again, not perfect. It's not ideal. Eh. You know, it does work, though. For the moment. At the, at the moment. Anyway. And you can do something like that. Now I'll have to play this by ear and kind of see exactly how this goes because, I say that because, um, wait a minute, oh, never mind, that's exactly what I did already, never mind, I thought I, thought I discovered a key to fixing this, I did not. Um, so we'll have to, again, looking for the pattern here. If we do it like that, then that means we need to bring this. Go ahead and put that there. Now, how many is that? This has more. One, two, three, four, five. But that might be because it's merging. So that could work. Okay. So we're basically just going to end up stair-stepping it at that point, right there. And then bringing it up... Ooh. Ooh. That might work? <laughs> Maybe? So... Hmm. Because I'm, I'm realizing that we're also going to have to do this repetitively. So what happens here now? is another issue. Huh, alright, so again, we might have to square this off. Which, I don't know how this is gonna hold up exactly. Because if we keep having to shorten it, eventually we'll end up back here, but back here, it's not shortened yet. So... This poses an interesting issue. And by interesting, I mean really annoying. Um, I guess we'll just have to follow that same pattern. 
And then at this point is where you square it off. And like so. So it still ends up kind of on that point, but we're walking this back, which I don't know how that's going to merge. Ugh. This uh, may not go well. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I guess I did. Hmm. 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 Well, this should prove interesting. Although I suppose the other alternative is that we don't end this here. But I have to, though. Ugh. This is bad. This is bad. All right, so I might be on to a solution, possibly, maybe. Not sure yet. Um, it's it's going somewhere. I'm just not sure exactly where it's going. Um, so the one thing was that I changed this section up here to kind of reflect this pattern that I was developing. Uh, which basically meant we moved this transition to back here as opposed to up here. Because before I was like, well, we have the transition up here, so I can't follow this pattern. And the, the problem I was seeing was typically when you have this kind of a design, you want it to look more like this, where it staggers and kind of swings around and then connects up to the front and I was seeing more of this where it was going the wrong direction I'm still not really sure that it'll work but it's working so <laughs> I mean I'm kind of I'm kind of looking at it like well it is kind of working so maybe it'll keep working <laughs> I don't really know um let's see so I know that we're going to hit this point, but then what happens? Because, let's see. So up to this point, uh, it had been doing okay. And now actually it seems like it is sinking. And I don't know why. That was weird. It must have been, I did a cut that removed a chunk of the armor. It must have gotten some kind of residual momentum from it. Weird. Alright, so from here... Or wait, no, I wouldn't have to do that. Okay, this is where it would keep going. Ah! Okay. And then we're going to go out until we hit this one. I think. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh man, sometimes I wish I knew more than I do. Um, Alright, so... I'm kind of seeing a pattern emerge, but actually we're further past than that. I'm not, I'm not really sure how this is gonna go, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out. Um, but let's go ahead and get the frame oh my gosh could i just get these thank you i can never get them to rotate correctly so i'm gonna go ahead and get the remainder of these set up first and that'll give us a bit of a reference point of when we're supposed to make i guess turns I'm not really sure what else you would call them tapers maybe give us a spot where we're gonna make the taper Sure, let's go with that. Alright, so we're getting there, but I'm already noticing another issue is it's not going to stay this height all the way out here, I don't think, uh, because i got to bring that back around here, so at some point we're going to have to lower this, but I'll probably try and see how far we can make it before we do. Um, I do think that it's going to be somewhere around here, though. Like that right there in that vicinity. We don't really need this guideline anymore either. 
Uh, so from that point, we're probably going to do start walking it down a little bit. So I'm going to remove a few of those just to give us a little bit of breathing room uh, for the rest of this. So then now, it kind of is looking like we're going to end up going higher every time. But I'm not really sure by how much. It looks like one? And what I mean by every time is if you'll notice, there's a point where this no longer lines up with these. Right, right here, they're in line. Like this blends into this. But when you get up here, it skips a line. And so then it doesn't actually connect back into the curve or the taper until further out. And it looks like you go out, what, three? One, two, three. And then it connects. So for example, those should all connect, but then we'll go out three, and then this will go out a total of six. I think. Maybe. Let's find out. Let's see if my... Oh, no, that's not right. That's not right at all. Hold on. Maybe it's... Nope. Hmm. Should go out... Eight? That doesn't sound right. Whatever. That's... It looks right. It just doesn't sound right. Alright. That was a lot of right. Alright. <laughs> Again. Okay, so we would do the... Uh, no. That doesn't go there. Where does that go? Oh, yes it does. This needs to be something else. Okay, so we'll take this back. This is one of these. Aha! There's the issue. Okay, that fixes that. So I was kind of right on the math. I was just wrong with the block type, I guess. Let me put that in there. And now this keeps going. About three. And then we line back up. All right, cool. So that is pretty accurate. So from here, I'm trying to figure out basically how to do this without doing all of these or how many of these to do oh my gosh can i really get in thank you good lord yeah i'm trying to figure out how to do these without having all of this part done that i could just walk these up kind of thing uh, i suppose the only way i can do that is to alternate between the bases and just kind of eyeball it maybe I'm not really sure. I might just have to do it this way, unfortunately. Which is unfortunate, because it's very tedious and time-consuming. Alright, now at this point, these are going to keep going. Okay, and they go to here. I guess we kind of did just do it there for a second. It's kind of like doing this. And then you could keep going from there, I suppose. But, um, yeah, it's kind of tough to figure out exactly where everything is supposed to go. Oh, that and I did not... I thought the lighting looked wrong here. It's because I never actually went back and fixed this. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now, actually. I was like, man, this looks weird. And I couldn't figure out why. Alright, so let me clean this up and see if we can at least get this part squared away. And then we'll go from there. Alright, so here's what I have so far. I think it's coming together and looking pretty decent. 
Uh, there's a couple of issues that I honestly just don't know how to resolve with the way that the shape's shaping up. So I might just not be able to. Uh, the biggest thing is the blending between this shape, this shape, and this shape. Uh, because this is a relatively flat edge, that I'm not really like tapering it further down uh, like the rest of the ship, it almost has to have its own edge to blend in. It's just, there's like three different angles that I'm trying to merge together and they're all being a little stubborn. But I think it's coming together okay. I think it looks all right. Um, it's a little bit backwards, I think, to how you would normally do this kind of a shape for like, say, a Star Destroyer or something. Um, because I believe typically this angle here after you bring this around would just follow along until you get to the back end um, and it kind of stops right about here and takes on a different shape as we come around this way so and that might change as i continue to expand this for example um i've figured out a pattern where you basically go to the edge of what you did before and then add two like so. And if I do that, then this setup might not work. I don't know. I mean, that works, but it's a little more squared off from the rest of the, the ship. And so I might have to do it a little differently. I don't really know. Um, I might not be able to keep that pattern. I might have to change it and go to something like shorter and then keep it going. I don't really know. Um, that's, I think, something we're going to tackle in the next episode, but let me know what you guys think about this one. Um, I think it's, I think it'll work. I think it's coming together and it's doing okay. Um, but yeah, I'm not too, a hundred, like, I'm not too confident in it. I'm not too sure. Uh, it looks like it's working so far. I'm a little concerned about how to blend the rest of this in. Um, and I might just have to do my own thing. And what I mean by that is instead of continuing this, I might just have to create a new shape from this point that connects these two together and just go from there. I, I might not really have a lot of options in other ways of doing things. But let me know what you guys think in the comments of ideas, opinions, and so on and so forth. Um, let me know what you think, and in the meantime, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!